Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today we have come with an exciting topic for you which is ISO 39001 Road Traffic Safety Management System. Before we start our discussion, let me quickly tell you about the points that will be discussed in today's session. In today's session, we will discuss what is ISO 39001 standard all about. Benefits of ISO 39001 steps for implementing ISO 39001. So let's start our discussion and take a look at what is ISO 39001 standard all about. The ISO 39001 2012 standard outlines the requirement for a road traffic safety management system RTS. This standard enables organizations that work with road traffic systems to reduce serious injuries and death caused by road traffic accidents. The ISO 39001 Road Traffic Safety RTS standard published in 2012 details the minimum requirements for an RTS management system suitable for governments, vehicle fleet, operators or any public or private organization interacting with the road traffic system. ISO 39001 requirements help reduce deaths and serious injuries resulting from road traffic accidents through three core routes. The first one is the development and implementation of an appropriate RTS policy. The second one is the development of RTS objectives and action plans incorporate legal and organization specific requirements. The third and last one is an additional detail provided on criteria relating to RTS that an organization deems within its sphere of influence or control. It is a tool designed to help organizations reduce and ultimately eliminate the incidence and risk of death and serious injury linked to road accidents. It identifies good road safety management practices that will enable organizations to achieve the desired road safety result and it optimizes the use of the road traffic system. This international standard is applicable to public and private organizations that interact with the road traffic system such as national and road authorities, governments, safety groups and private companies. The RTS management system can be compatible with or integrated into other management system within the organization. Now let us discuss about the benefits of ISO 39001 standard. Few of the key benefits of ISO 39001 standard are Implementation and demonstration of organizational safety and social responsibility targets to customer and stakeholders. Implementation of best practices in the organization in order to meet requirements of industry, stakeholders and legislation. Identification of road traffic hazards and improvement of management efficiency. Reduction of operational and insurance costs. Establishment and improvement of operating processes and the last one is compliance with policy and objectives within the organization. Now as a final point of discussion of today's session, let us discuss what are the steps for implementation of ISO 39001 standard within organizations. The implementation of ISO 39001 standard is a six step approach which is step one. Step one is scope and context. In this step, identify the impact the organization can have on road traffic safety RTS, map that impact across interested parties and determine the organizational scope of an RTS management system. Step 2. Leadership. In this step, establish leadership commitment by adopting a long-term vision to eliminate death and serious injury and providing resources to establish, implement maintain and continually improve the RTS management system towards these ends. Establish, document and communicate RTS policy and assign organizational responsibilities. Step 3. Planning. In this step, determine risk and opportunities through assessment of current performance and identify the RTS performance factors that are relevant to the agency. Set objectives and targets for each performance factor and develop actions plan. Step 4. Implementation. Implement and operate the RTS management system and ensure that sufficient capacity is provided for the objectives 
and targets to be met. Step 5. Monitoring and Evaluation Monitor and evaluate RTS performance, conduct internal audits and periodic reviews of the RTS management system to identify opportunities for continual improvement. And the last one is continual improvement. Improve the RTS management system on a continual basis following reviews of RTS performance and of the RTS management system itself. We have now come to the conclusion of the session. If you have any questions on today's session, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it best wishes from TNV Academy. Thank you.